With that, I'd like to introduce um, our next speaker, who is Nicholas Calciano. Nicholas is finishing up his master's in business administration at St. Mary's College of California while working in finance. As the youngest member of the Calciano family, Nicholas has been actively involved in the foundation. From volunteering in his youth to now working with board members to, in preparation for this annual event, he has helped cultivate the vision of the symposium and seeks to continue expanding the foundation's outreach and impact on our community. Thank you, Nicholas, and welcome. Good afternoon. I swear I'm usually a paper person, but I didn't have access to a printer, so I got to use one of these things. <laughs> right. My name is Nicholas Calciano, and on behalf of the Natterney Calciano family, I want to welcome you and thank you for your support in our 22nd annual John E. Natterney Calciano Memorial Youth Symposium. Our family is honored and privileged to have every one of you here. I grew up being the youngest child of nine. I was only two years old when our family lost my brother John at 23 years old to suicide. Although I was too young to remember him, I always have cherished the memories with my, uh, from my family's reflections and pictures of John. I grew up coming to this event since 1998. I was only five years old. My fond recollection of my devoted parents and siblings preparing and organizing this event along with the Dominican Hospital Foundation, bring a sense of healing, peace, serenity for our entire family. I often think of my brother John and wonder what his life would have been like today. And although the symposium bears his name, it has come to represent all the families struggling, not only with the suicide of a loved one, but those who battle with anxiety, drugs, violence, and other critical issues that affect our youth today. Our family is incredibly grateful to have seen this symposium develop over the years in memory of John. As difficult as our loss was, it continues to be the sense of community, of the community coming together to help prevent similar tragedies from affecting other families as a healing force. We continue to be impressed by the diversity of the attendees consisting of physicians, counselors, educators, parents, public safety officials that have attended the symposium over the years. The post-symposium comments and the number of attendees that, re that return year after year clearly indicate that together we are making a real difference in our community. To help, uh, to help our family heal and bring about a positive influence on this community, in 1996, my father, along with my mother, established a Johnny Natterney Memorial Endowment Fund to ensure the continuous legacy of this event. Now, if I may take a few minutes to share details about another loss we had this past year. Exactly two weeks after last year's symposium, our family faced another tragedy, the loss of my father and patriarch of our family, Dr. Anthony James Calciano. I would like to share a few details about my father uh, and his contributions to our community and this foundation. Having grown up back on the East Coast, my father moved to Santa Cruz from Stanford in 1963 to establish a cardiac program at Sisters Hospital, later to become Dominican. He was passionate about his role as a cardiologist serving our community. He devoted many tireless hours to those in need while being a wonderful, loving father to all of his children. My father attended every symposium, sharply at 8.30, after making hospital rounds and sneaking, at, sneaking in three patients in the morning before coming. He would always be in his white Brooks Brothers t-shirt, or dress shirt, with his classic bow tie, which he was notorious for. He truly enjoyed this event, greeting, sharing, and speaking with many of you, while listening to each of your contributions in our community. My father always said to us children, remember, the cup is always half full. His charming smile, positive energy, compassion for others, and true devotion to his community and family through his practice of medicine 
will be missed. Yet, his legacy and life will always be cherished. His favorite hour of the day was sunset, watching from his favorite place on, front, on the front deck view, soaking in the breathtaking Santa Cruz coast, overlooking what he referenced to as the bonsai in the sky. While he reflected on his gifts from a God, from God, a father, a husband, a physician, a friend, and a steward of this community. Thank you for all you have done for us. We love you. So on behalf of our family, our deepest appreciation and gratitude goes to all those who have planned the details of each annual symposium. We are particularly grateful for, to, uh, we are particularly grateful to all the members of the advisory committee. Would you please stand? There we go. It is a hard work and dedication of this group of community professionals that allows all this to happen. Next, we are so grateful for the tireless volunteers who helped plan the logistics of this event. And last and not least, the Dominican Hospital Foundation, which is the arm of the symposium, and is with their support that we have established the John E. Natterney Calcino Endowment Fund. Thank you.